Welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another edition of Health Class. Today, we will be talking about heart attack or in medical term, myocardial infarction. This is in relation sa nangyari sa batikang aktres na si Jacqueline Jose of the Philippines Kamakailan. Pag-uusapan natin ang heart attack kasi daw ito ang sanhi ng kanyang ikinamatay. Heart attack is a very common heart disease, not only in the Philippines, but in the whole world. What do you need to know about heart attack or MI? Pag-uusapan natin sa video na ito. This video is a Tagalog-English video. Kaya, please keep on watching. My name is Ryan and I'm specializing in diabetes, men's sexual health, alcohol and drugs, primary care, and medicinal cannabis. Si Miss Jacqueline Jose, isang batikang aktres, isang award-winning Filipina actress. Siya ang kauna-unahang Filipino or Southeast Asian na nanalo ng Best Actress sa Cannes Film Festival in France. Ang most recent acting job niya ay sa Batang Quiapo ng ABS-CBN bilang si Chief Espinas. Kaya nabigla ang lahat sa kanyang pagkamatay. At ang tinutukoy na dahilan ng kanyang pagkamatay ay heart attack or myocardial infarction in medical term. Kaya pag-uusapan natin ito kasi hindi lamang ito napaka-common na heart disease in the Philippines but also in the whole world. What is heart attack? Heart attack or myocardial infarction or MI is caused by a blockage of the veins carrying blood to the heart resulting in the inability of the blood to flow to the heart. But first, let's review the importance of the heart in the body and people's lives. The heart, or ang puso, is a muscular pump that's a little larger than a fist. It's one of the most important muscles as it pumps blood all over the body through the circulatory system. Ang puso ay isang muscle na kasing laki ng isang kamao. Ang puso ay isa sa mga pinakaimportante na muscles sa ating katawan kasi ito ang nagpapump ng dugo sa buong katawan ng isang tao. Sa pamamagitan ng circulatory system. Alam niyo pa ba kung ano ang circulatory system? Ang circulatory system contains blood vessels or veins and moves blood throughout the body. Meaning, ang circulatory system ang nagdi-distribute ng dugo sa buong katawan. The blood carries oxygen, which is needed by every cell in the body, all the time. The heart pumps oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to the heart and then onto the rest of the body. Kaya napaka-importante ng puso kasi ito ang nagpapump ng dugo sa buong katawan. Kung wala ang heart, wala ding dugo sa buong katawan natin at ang dugo ay nagdadala ng oxygen para mabuhay ang cells and tissue ng ating katawan. Kung walang oxygen ang katawan ng isang tao, mamamatay ang cells and tissues and eventually mamamatay ang isang tao. A heart attack happens when a coronary artery which supplies blood to your heart becomes blocked. This stops the blood flow and reduces the amount of oxygen that gets to the heart muscle. Eto, panoorin natin ang animation ng heart attack. For your heart to function properly, it needs good blood supply. The coronary arteries are small tubes that supply blood to the heart. Over time, and with certain risk factors, plaque can build up in the walls of the artery. This is called coronary heart disease. Plaque is made of fat, cholesterol, and other materials. As more plaque accumulates in the artery walls, narrowing can occur, which reduces the amount of blood flow to your heart muscle. Sometimes, your heart needs to work harder than usual, such as during physical exertion, emotional stress, or after a heavy meal. 
during these times, your heart needs more oxygen-rich blood than the narrowed arteries can deliver. When there is a lack of oxygen to your heart muscle, you may experience angina. Angina is a feeling of pain or discomfort that may feel like heaviness, pressure, tightness, or squeezing in your chest. Angina is short-lasting and goes away when the demand on the heart is reduced by resting or angina medications. Coronary heart disease can also lead to a heart attack. A heart attack occurs when the artery wall tears or ruptures and the bloodstream makes contact with the fatty plaque that was inside the artery wall. This can cause a clot to form, which may block the flow of blood to the heart. A blocked artery can damage the heart muscle and urgent treatment is required to restore the flow of blood to the heart. A heart attack is a medical emergency. Unlike angina, the signs of a heart attack will not go away with rest or angina medications. In a heart attack, urgent treatment is required to clear the blocked artery and save the heart muscle from permanent damage. To put it simply, ang heart attack ay ang pagkakaroon ng bara sa isa o sa mga ugat na nagsusuplay ng dugo sa heart. At pag wala ng dugo na nakakadaloy papuntang puso, Nagkakaroon ng chest pain or chest discomfort ang isang tao. Ito ay isang medical emergency at pag hindi naagapan, maari itong makadamage ng heart or maaring mamatay ang isang tao. Ang isa sa pinaka-common or cardinal symptom ng heart attack is chest discomfort or chest pain and can spread to the arms, neck, jaw, or back. The pain or discomfort often lasts longer than 10 minutes. Other symptoms are dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, indigestion, vomiting, shortness of breath or difficulty of breathing, sweating or cold sweats. Ang ilan sa mga common tests para malaman ang kondisyon ng isang puso ay ECG or electrocardiogram, blood tests, at angiogram. Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, ang heart attack is a medical emergency. It requires emergency treatment to restore blood flow to the heart. The faster this happens, the less heart muscle is damaged. This may involve medications or surgeries. And speaking of medications, maraming options. Una na dyan, ay ang mga anticoagulants. Ito ay tinatawag na blood thinners. This is to make thick blood thin to prevent clotting of blood. Meron din tayong antiplatelets. This is to stop new blood clots from forming and existing clots from getting bigger. Put it in ang beta blockers. This is to reduce blood pressure resulting in reducing heart load that will eventually reduce the risk of heart attack. Pwede din ang mga blood pressure medications such as ACE inhibitors. Ang mga ACE inhibitors nagdadilate ng ugat, giving more space in veins for the blood to flow smoothly to the heart. Meron din tayong nitrates or chest pain relievers. Napaka-common ng gamot na ito na ibinibigay sa mga taong nagkakaroon ng chest pain or chest discomfort. It widens veins to increase blood flow. Pwede din ang mga statins or cholesterol tablets kasi ang cholesterol ay nagkaklog or nagnanarrow ng veins. Cholesterol medications reduces cholesterol levels in the blood. An increased cholesterol level can cause vein blockage. At meron din tayong thrombolytics. Ang thrombolytics dissolve blood clots that narrow blood vessels or veins. Ang common aim ng mga medications na nabanggit ko is to dissolve blood clots. At ang isa pang aim is to widen the narrowed blood vessels or veins carrying or supplying blood to the heart. Meron din tayong mga surgery options, although hindi ko na sila i-discuss in detail. My coronary angioplasty or stents na napaka-common. At meron din tayong CABG or coronary artery bypass graft.
There you go everyone. Napakasimple ng video na ito pero informative. Kung nakaka-experience kayo ng mga symptoms o isa sa mga symptoms na nabanggit ko kanina, kumonsulta na sa inyong doktor or pumunta agad sa pinakamalapit na hospital kasi ang heart attack ay isang medical emergency. Improve and modify your lifestyle. At kumonsulta sa inyong doktor on a regular basis. If you are experiencing symptoms of heart attack and worried that you or someone is having a heart attack, call an ambulance, go to your doctor, or go to the hospital immediately, especially if the symptoms last for 10 minutes or longer. For my birthday, nagapala ka pa? Bin po. Ang tagatal ko nang pinapangarap ito. It's expensive. Promise. My deepest condolence to the family of Miss Jacqueline Jose. Salamat sa panunood. I shall see you again on my next health class. Stay safe and be healthy.